Ivan, congrats on your new series. You've been part of other Netflix shows before, but now yes. you have a, a main role in High Heat. How, how does that feel like? Well, to be, on, to be honest, uh, when, I, uh, when they told me that I was going to be part of High Heat, uh, first, there was a lot of excitement, uh, a lot of shouting with my girlfriend too, and, uh, but then a little bit of, of fear, I, I have to say. <laughs> I was a little bit nervous because I, uh, I take very serious my job. I take my job very serious, so, uh, you know, I, I, I wanted to do uh, a, a good job, you know? I wanted to do it great, so, so uh, I got a little bit nervous, but I, what I did is just, I began to uh, read the scripts, uh, began to prepare myself. I wanted to do a, a complex character uh, um, because Poncho is, is a complex character, you know? So, so I wanted to do the best job. So, um, but I got, I have to say, uh, Poncho is uh, the hardest uh, character I had to, to play in my career. So, so yeah, that was a, a big challenge, but uh, I, think, I think that as Poncho also realizes in the series, uh, we, we are, we can do better than we think. So, so yeah, I think that's, that's also a, a connection with, with Poncho, you know, uh, when I started to, to, uh, to, to do the creative part of, of the process of, of, of creating Poncho, uh, with obviously the, the writer, El Chascas, <laughs> that he was, he, he was always available. So if we had any doubts, uh, he was always open to to the conversation, uh, to any any anything we wanted to know. So so yeah, I I took it very seriously, and I'm a perfectionist, so so I I put everything there. So I hope people enjoy it. I've enjoyed it so far, but I've only seen like four or five episodes. But so okay, far, okay. I'm enjoying it. And it, it is a lot That's of good. responsibility, right, to be like the main character. I can imagine. Um, and I was wondering while I was watching the show, how hot, I mean, you got to take the uniform off a few times. Yes, yes. <laughs> but I was wondering how hot was it really while shooting? Because I don't know how many fires were real or not, but I can imagine you, I would be sweating a lot. <laughs> that was actually one of the, of the big parts and the, and, and when we arrived to the, because there are like two types, we had two types of emergencies, some were on the set. Uh, there was always real fire in, in every situation. There was always real fire, but they, they, they will also put special effects. Uh, we had a special, uh, like it, it was not a green screen, but it was like uh, digital screen, you know, where they also put some, some fire in it. But, but there was always real fire and to feel the heat, actually that, that made it uh, like, that, it, that made us realize how much respect firemen should have, you know, fire, firefighters. So, so yeah, it was, it was pretty, pretty hot in there because not, not, not only the, the, the fire, you know, but all the smoke that is, that surrounds it. So we, we will also, <laughs> inhale a lot of smoke so like uh, the in the next days we would like sneeze and it will appear like black you know yeah yeah so so yeah there's there's a lot of respect to to firefighters because uh, the the job that they do it's it's extremely important and and risky and they yeah they they risk their lives every day so 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 that was like a, a big uh, learning for me, you know, and and I take it, I take it with me. I I think and and that was always something they told us. Uh, this is something to pay homage to the to the profession of of being a firefighter. So yeah, <laughs> there's that. They are absolute heroes. I agree with you. Yeah. Were there any uh, real firemen on set? I mean, I believe so. If yeah. there are real fires. Yeah, we had the, the fortune to have real fire firefighters on the set. They actually first, uh, uh, they first gave us a preparation, you know, um, 
they they told us everything we had to know uh, about the fire, about how it behaves, about the materials that can, can that can get on fire easily, um, the how to put on the the suit, uh, how to carry people, uh, how to to roll the lines, you know, how to to yeah everything, and, and that was I, that was also one one big part of the things that attracted me to the, to the project, uh, being able to, to learn from the, from, from them, you know, from the real firemen. So, so yeah. And, and they were always on the set when, whenever we had to shoot the emergencies, whether it was on the, on the set or in the, or on, in a location, because we had, like I told you both, and, uh, they were always there to, to answer any of our questions, or if we wanted to know, how would you say that in this case, you know? How would you call your, uh, your partner, or how would you say on the, on the radio that uh, you found a, a civilian there, you know? Every kind of doubt, you, you, because you, you want to, to portray it as, as real as possible. So, so yeah, that, that was a big, a big part of it, that they were there, and we are extremely proud of their job also. That's awesome. Um, as you were saying, it's a it's a, a difficult job. But there, it's more than a job. You have to live for it, right? You you risk your yes. life every day. And um, Poncho kind of he got thrown into this job. It wasn't like his choice. He didn't say as a child, "Oh, I want to be a firefighter." You know, is this something you can relate to as an actor, especially since your grandmother inspired you to act? that I didn't want it to be a, an actor or? Kind of getting thrown into the job. I mean, obviously he still has to work hard for it. It wasn't just, he did have to work hard to get into the fire department. I, you can yes. see that in the show. Is this something you can relate to as an actor? Mm, I don't know. I think it's, it's, uh, it's funny sometimes how we end up doing something, you know? I mean, my, uh, my grandma was a big actress here in Mexico. Uh, she did a lot of movies here. And, uh, but it, it's funny because I, I didn't want it to be an actor till I finished high school. <laughs> so, I mean, I always liked the idea, but, but I, never, I never thought of it as, as a profession to, as my final profession to do in my life. But uh, like, yeah, when I finished high school, it was like, I, I was considering a lot of possibilities and, and, but something inside of me realized that acting was my passion. And so I followed that <laughs> instinct, I have to say. Uh, and yeah, I ended up acting. And I think, yeah, Poncho also had a, a sort of in instinct in there that, well, he, he obviously has to, to infiltrate in, in the station to to follow who who whoever he thinks the 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 murder is the murderer sorry the the one that murdered his brother so so yeah he he ends up being something he never thought he would be and and that's funny too because you you Poncho at the beginning he he thinks that he can only be certain things in life and when he becomes a fireman, he, he realizes that he's capable of many things. And, um, and well, when they murder his brother, he loses every family he, he, he thought he had. But as, as you see, as well, as you see the next chapters in the series, you will see that he, he finds a family in the station. So, and he really loves to be a, uh, to become a fireman. So, and it's funny because at the beginning of, of the series, he also makes like a little joke, like, who the fuck wants to be a, fire, a firefighter, you know? <laughs> but that's life. Sometimes you, <laughs> you end up doing something you never planned to do. Exactly. <laughs> um, as you were saying, Poncho's goal is to find out what happened to his brother. And he's like really focused on that goal. Yeah. Do you have... Uh, goal as an actor like is there a role you would love to play someday well I think I would like to play 
good characters that are well written, you know? Uh, that's like the, the main thing I'm looking for. But, but to be honest, I, I would also like to portray maybe a superhero or a, a maybe a character that existed, you know? like a uh, biopic or something like that. Yeah, but, but mainly I, I would really like to, to like read it in the script and, and say, oh my God, this is a great character. It doesn't matter what kind of project it is or, or yeah, or whatever, but I will love, I will love that. Uh, that's like what I'm looking for. But, but also like <laughs> working in, in other places, like obviously Europe, I would love to work in Spain uh, or London or uh, also in, in America in, in the United States or in Argentina. Like there are, I, and I think that, that uh, this digital, uh, like Netflix um, are, are actually opening a lot of, of paths for, for young actors to, to work abroad, you know? So that's also a good thing for us. I really enjoy Netflix and those platforms because I get to watch international shows in general, like the Korean shows. And it's always like yeah. a completely different narrative and it's like refreshing to see. Um, yeah, that's, I, I, I love right? it. Oh, sorry, sorry to interrupt. No, 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 but, I was just gonna ask you what you are watching right now, but. Um, you know. I'm actually watching, right now I'm, completely in love with Better Call Saul. I, I love that series. I mean, and I started like a little bit uh, late, you know, but but it's a great series and and I'm watching that right now. I'm all, I have also started uh, Sandman. That is pretty great too. Uh, I, I watch a lot of series. I, I really love <laughs> to watch <laughs> because I also take it as, as uh, a learning process, you know? As you said, you you now you get the the chance to to learn from a lot of different cultures around the world, uh, a lot of different actors or actresses actresses that that are really talented and 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 I love to see it. I love to see things from from every part of the world that because you you learn a lot and and, and you learn about their cultures and how they do the projects. And you're currently in, in Colombia or you were just there? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm currently uh, in Bogota, another project, uh, another town with Netflix. So, oh. Is yeah. There, can you tell us anything yet about it? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can tell you that it's, it's a, uh, uh, a very different character that that the other ones have portrayed. So uh, that's also one thing that attracted me to the to the project. And it's my first time working working abroad. So like I told you, it's becoming it's 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 opening the, the market for you to to go work uh, other places. And, and that's also uh, a big part of why I accepted the job. I wanted to 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 know here uh, because I, I mean, I have to work, <laughs> you know, but I also have some time free and, and it, it has opened a possibility for me to, to go and, and, and be a tourist, you know, too. So, so yeah, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's going to be a, a pretty cool project. I mean, I have to tell, I have to say that because yeah, they're, they're doing it pretty cool. It's it's a good story, and I think people is gonna like it also. I'm excited. But it's going to be called Perfil Falso. Ooh. <laughs> um, False profile. <laughs> <laughs> the catfishing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> cool. Cool. Um, so I think our time is almost up. I thank you so much for taking your time to speak with us today. I can't wait to finish uh, High Heat in English. Uh, I wish you much success with the show and with your future projects. Yes.